All right, you guys. So this is how you jailbreak a 4S. Um, we have Chronic Devs Absinthe open here, right on the side, as you, or right there in the middle, as you guys can see. And uh, this is what the icon looks like. It's right here. It's this little Absinthe guy. And uh, sorry for the video quality. My other camera died uh, right before I was going to shoot this video. So I'm stuck with the little handheld one, which works fine. Um, all you do is plug in your phone and hit jailbreak. And it says your device may appear to be restoring a backup. This may take a while. It, it says it goes through a few certain steps here. But all I did was plugged in my phone and pressed that jailbreak button there. And it's very, very, very simple. And if you guys want this and you can't get to the servers because they're busy or overpacked or whatever, um, go ahead and uh, go to MacMixing.com. I'm going to post an article with uh, a mirror on our servers to download Absinthe. So in case anybody wants to jailbreak the iPad 2 or iPhone 4S. All right, so Apple is on the screen again. This is the first thing I've seen since I hit the jailbreak button there. And check it out. Waiting for reboot. It says, waiting for reboot, not done. Don't unplug your device yet. So listen. <laughs> and we get a little loading sign. Connecting to device, waiting for a device to finish booting. See the Apple logo here. It's loading up. Let's see what happens. I don't know. We're going to find out here, though, in a minute. This is kind of like an exciting moment for me. All right, so preparing jailbreak data, it says. I have a battery screen. I'm not going to unlock it or anything until it says that it's good to go. I don't want to screw anything up. All right, sending payload. May take a while. Do not touch your device yet. So just like it says, I'm not going to unlock anything. I'm not going to touch anything. Rule number one that I will stress to you guys about this install is just have patience because it does take a little bit to jailbreak the 4S or the iPad 2. Still going. I'm just going to put this back so I don't feel tempted to touch it or anything. Do not touch your device yet. That's what it says. Don't do it. You might screw it up. Uh, and they are not responsible if anything happens. So do this at your own risk. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I hope I hope that this is going to work. I have a lot of faith in these guys. They're very smart and talented people. And also, go donate to them. Um, they have a unified like PayPal account to make donations to. So let's see what happens here. We're going to have a jailbroken iPhone 4S. This will also work for the iPad 2. Any A5 device, just so you guys know. And we are still waiting. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think, man. Comment below. Um, sorry for my crappy video here. I didn't want to waste time editing this or anything like that before I put it up uh, a whole lot. So I just wanted to get it to you guys as soon as possible so you guys could experience this with me. Still going. Still going. Still waiting. This is a big experience, though, a big, a big deal for all those people who have been waiting for this jailbreak. Um, you know, <laughs> I made a backup of my device, just like it says. Please make a backup of your device before using this tool. We don't experience any, we don't expect any issues, but we aren't responsible if anything happens. I did indeed back up my device via iTunes, so go ahead and do that just to be sure and be 100% positive that you have a backup of your device. Very, 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 very important. I, I have to say that. It's definitely important. And it's looking like it's nearing the finish line here. All right, almost done. Just unlock the screen if necessary, then tap the jailbreak icon to finish. All right, so... We're going to unlock the screen, and we're going to find the jailbreak icon. All right, so there's the absinthe icon. So 
we're going to tap that icon. All right, here it is right there. So what you gotta do is after it gets to this point, you have to tap this icon right here. So we're tapping it. All right, you guys, so if you get a screen that says error connecting to database like I just did and it's just a white screen with some text, um, don't freak out. It's okay. Uh, there's another way around it. You just have to go enable uh, VPN on your iPhone, and there should be a VPN for jailbreak. And all that is is you go to uh, settings, and then you go down to general, and then you go to network, and then you go to VPN, and then you turn VPN on, and you make sure that jailbreak is uh, selected if you have another VPN. Or you can uh, just do it straight from the settings menu if you already have VPNs installed. So don't freak out. All right, so. Going to settings. Jailbreak, okay. So we're gonna turn on VPN for jailbreak right here. And it says to just wait. I have other jailbreaks in there, like, or I have other VPNs in there, Siri Proxy. Again, if you experience any issues, just be patient. Try again. Wait. It's going to be okay. All right. There we go. We got a connection. So um, if you can't use the jailbreak icon on the screen, go ahead and use the VPN in, uh, in VPN settings, general settings, VPN, or, or VPN right on the general settings page that's only if you can't open that icon it wouldn't let me open the icon it had some error connecting to database issues so I had to use uh, the VPN method which after a couple tries it ended up working so um, this is all good news I was hoping that it wouldn't um, <laughs> not work I don't know you know I don't want to screw up my phone so now we're just waiting for it to load it uh, it says right here that it's detected an iPhone 4S, um, so it looks like it's done with the phone, completely done. Let's see what happens when it turns back on, you guys. We'll see if uh, I have Cydia installed. Hopefully, everything will be cool and good to go. So let's check it out. All right. Searching. It says searching for service. Well, that's not good. Um, unlock it. I do indeed have Cydia installed on my iPhone 4S, but I don't have service. Um, so I don't know if that is good or bad, or I don't know what that means, really. Um, I know I don't have phone service, but hopefully it'll just catch on and it'll work. No service. All right, there we go, Verizon. Bam! Took a second, but... <laughs> It got it. All right. It was scaring me. So as you can see here, this is a jailbroken 4S. Let's see if Siri works. Google flying monkeys. Searching the web for flying monkeys. All right. So Siri still works. Uh, that's really good. And as you can see here, we have Cydia on the iPhone 4S. Yeah. That was my happy song that they did it. Congratulations to the Dream Team. You guys are amazing and very talented and smart. Um, so as soon as this is prepared, uh, I thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate all your support. We'll be doing many more 4S and iPhone 4 jailbreak tutorials. And I also have a jailbroken iPad, which I'm actually recording the audio for this video on using an iRig mic. Like I said, just have patience, guys. All right, so we went, it locked. Let's go back into Cydia. And there we go. We have the Cydia store user done. Bam, there's Cydia on a 4S. What? That's awesome, you guys. So I hope you're as happy about this as I am. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please subscribe in this button that's right here. Meep, meep. And our Twitter link is here. Meep. Facebook link is here. Meep. Thanks again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day. <laughs>